Hello creators, welcome back to Create, Share and Give. This is your girl, Mayat Marie. And today's video, I just wanted to pull a few cards working with the energies of Mother Earth right now. There is a huge transition going on. I'm sure everyone feel it or see it in some type of way. So hopefully you guys are staying grounded Staying hopeful, uh, reaching for the sky, and staying on your square. There has been so much chaos going on in the world politically, socially, <laughs> economically, <laughs> every which way there is. And there is a lot of turmoil, but that happens when the earth is unbalanced and mother earth has been unbalanced for quite some time so it's only a matter of time when she would begin to balance herself out that's just one of the natural laws of the universe there has to be a balance and it's been tilted for some time um, in the hands of just a few select that abuse the system, that continue to try to abuse the system. But you know what? Man only has so much power before Mother Nature lets you know who's the boss. And nature always wins. So I've been just trying my best to stay grounded, staying with uh, my shadow work and working from within so that I can elevate my vibration and move in the higher vibration of the new world order that is emerging right now. So everything may seem like it's being torn down, but that has to happen unfortunately. Things have to be torn down in order to usher in the new. So. There has to be a death of the old. Everything has to be chaotic, upside down, a lot of trickery, a lot of propaganda, a lot of shenanigans, a lot of uh, illusions. So you have to stay focused at this time on your inner power, your inner work. Don't just follow or listen to anyone just because you think they're knowledgeable. Use your own intuition. And this year has been definitely the year of 2020. Like 2020 perfect sight. That rings true to this year. There have been so many people that's been exposed there has been uh, systems that are being exposed, individual people that are being exposed at this time. When people show you who they are, as Maya Angelou says, believe them the first time. So that's why it's so important to do your own inner work, listen to your intuition, and when you listen to your own intuition, it's very hard for you to be thrown off of your square because you know what truth resonates with you. You may not believe 100% of what you believe a leader would be, but they will disappoint you every step of the way because they are only human. They may have knowledge in certain areas, but the ego may become involved. You see people shift their mind, shift their uh, path. And you have to be able to shift in the direction you want to go, not in the direction that someone is manipulating you to go. Or someone who you believed in that has continuously given you illusions. And you have to think for yourself and 
come to your own realizations. Again, in my last video, I was speaking of following gurus and listening to what people tell you, taking their perspective as yours. Well, that's very, very dangerous. It's a very, very slippery slope because people have their own agenda. And part of my agenda is to be a humanitarian here to help myself and those around me, those that know me, though personally, those that know me from YouTube, um, just lift the vibration in every way that I can um, in the energy of Most High to help balance out the bright side of things. That is my mission as of now. So that's what I'm here to do. And I do that by staying focused on what I believe. So don't fret. If you're going through a little turmoil, just go deeper into your inner being. Go deeper into your mind. Go deeper into your intuition. Um, connect more with your guides. Connect more with Most High, your ancestors, whichever way you want to do it. And have that energy help lead you if you feel like you're being lost, if you don't know the way, if you don't know what's up or down anymore because of all of the illusions that's going on, the chaos, nothing ever appears to be what it is. And if not anything else, 2020 has shown me that. Like everything that's hidden now is in prime time showdown like it is so apparent like it's like under a bright spotlight right now so if you guys have to pay attention and move accordingly move accordingly and as a friend of mine always say like a thief in the night <laughs> you know or never let your left hand know what your right hand doing or vice versa you got to move in silence, but you move using your intellect. You know, we were given intellect for a reason and we must use it not to stand upon someone else's mind, not to stand upon someone else's point of view. I was watching a video and in the comments, there is a comment where someone commented, uh, they were asking the speaker, should they vote or are they supposed to vote? Because the speaker didn't vote. And I was just like, wow. Think about how vulnerable that person and many millions other may be when they have to go and ask the permission of someone else whether they should vote or not vote based on someone else's opinion, not upon their own strength. And that's a place you never want to be in because you are a prime candidate of being brainwashed, of being, <laughs> being hoodwinked, bamboozled, and run amok. So I don't know how many times I keep saying, go within and use your own intellect and move accordingly. And that's when you will find your greatest harvest. What do we need to do to move forward and to leave 2020 and the situations now a little less unscathed? What do we need to do? Ace of Cups. We must keep our emotions intact. Don't let your energy leak out. Keep your attention on a higher power, not on man. And be led by the Spirit on which way you should go, which way is best for you. And that way you know you will never be led astray. And the tree of life will open up to you. 
just keep climbing to higher, higher states of consciousness, which is where the earth is headed right now. So just make sure you're keeping yourself away from drama, which I'm trying my best to. Uh, keep your emotions intact so that you can reap your harvest and not get caught up being manipulated from someone else's energy. So I think those are the main keys to look out for. I'm gonna pull a few messages from the Ascended Masters. What will they have us do at this time? The higher forces, what is your message? for humanity at this time, at the crossroads of humanity across the world. And I have pulled here too. You must go after your own intuition. You must seek that higher knowledge, look up not down, not around. Even though we are in the material world, we have to look at things from a higher perspective. Now we have to go into the world and be the light in the darkness, be the light in the chaos, clear your mind. And I think that just solidifies the message that I have here today and what we need to do, what I will be working on. Focus on your strengths. Focus on what you need to do. Focus on things you can do to contribute to the rising in consciousness of the universe. Go after what you need to go after. Act upon it. Act. Not just sit back and ponder, but help be that light of the world, of that balance, whatever side you want to be on. That's your choice. But look up to the heavens and use your mind. Focus on the above. Move strategically in this very chaotic world because mama mambo is going to balance everything out that needs to be balanced so the battle is not yours the battle is not mine just stay true to yourself and i think that will sum it up of what the cards have for me tonight Thank you guys so much for coming by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos. And until we meet again, peace.